Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install FreeBSD 9.0 on an Intel 32-bit machine. I'll be using VirtualBox and let us start by creating a new virtual machine first. So click New. Next. Uh, type in the name of the virtual machine and choose the operating system and the version as BSD and FreeBSD. And for all 64-bit computers, use 64-bit FreeBSD and hit enter, hit next. Uh, here give the maximum possible size for the RAM. For now I'll be giving 128 MB only. Make sure you choose dynamically expanding storage for this option because it is much more efficient than fixed size storage as it does not allocate all of the disk space at once. Click next. Um, here 6 GB of memory, uh, 6 GB of hard disk is the minimum requirement if you are planning to install all of the components of um, FreeBSD. But in this tutorial I will be choosing 30 GB. 30 GB is enough for uh, any system or additional utilities to be installed. Just hit enter and finish. So we are done with the creation of the virtual machine. Now we need to install FreeBSD on it. So power on the virtual machine by clicking start. You need to locate your ISO image file of the FreeBSD. So this is my ISO image file 9.0 DVD1. Select it and click open. You want to boot the operating system so choose the first option by hitting enter or you could also hit 1. We want to install the FreeBSD operating system so select the first option and just hit enter. Live CD is basically for um, uh, temporary usage of the FreeBSD operating system from a thumb drive or um, a CD-ROM. So choose install and hit enter. Non-default key mapping? No. A non-default key mapping is basically a key mapping where uh, if your keyboard is not of the regular US keyboard layouts, it doesn't have the QWERT as the first five letters. So in that case only choose yes. But in generally you will have a keyboard of the US keyboard layouts. So just hit enter after choosing no. Type a computer name for your machine and hit enter. Here you can navigate by using arrow keys and hit spacebar to toggle between options. I will just be installing documentation and source code and then hit enter. Here a guided partition is what you need because it is recommended for uh, novice computer users. Manual and shell is for expert computer users who know how to use a shell, com a shell console. So just hit enter after choosing guided. If you choose entire disk here your uh, and the entire disk will be formatted and FreeBSD will be installed. If you want to use FreeBSD parallelly with other operating systems, then do not choose entire disk because it will format the whole disk. In that case, choose partition because um, uh, in this choosing by choosing partition, you will be able to install FreeBSD on a particular partition on your machine. But for now, I'll be choosing entire disk and hit enter. Um, our settings have already been created. These three are the partitions, the default partitions. Do not delete any one of them. You can create more partitions by uh, navigating through the arrow keys and, use, and choosing create and then hitting enter. Uh, and um, since all of these settings are already in place, so just navigate to finish by the right arrow and hit enter. Commit changes, yes.
at any time if you need the mouse back into the host operating system so just hit right control and you will get a mouse back by clicking anywhere in the virtual machine you will have a mouse inside the virtual machine Give the password for your root account. I'll give to her. And do not forget this. Uh, this is your communication device, the network interface card. Just hit enter. IPv4 is a protocol for communication. Uh, just hit yes. Uh, DHCP is if you are using a router or a modem for configuring devices on your, uh, your home network, then you will have to use DHCP here. It's a uh, it's just a protocol here, so just hit enter. IPv6 is a future protocol. Hit enter again. I don't think we need this. Hit enter. DNS is important because it is a protocol which is used for converting IP addresses. To, sorry, converting um, domain names to IP addresses. So just hit enter. Here you can uh, use spacebar for toggling between options and uh, use an arrow keys to navigate. If you don't know what Secure Shell Lemon is, it is just a, it is also a protocol for you uh, for communicating securely. It provides encrypted communication over a network. And if you are wanting to use mouse on a, in the console, then you might want to enable this component. We don't need these two for now, so just hit enter. Yes. Now this is the add user utility. I'll be giving username as test. User ID is um, just a unique uh, ID for um, the particular user. Just leave it as default and hit enter. Login group. I'll be giving wheel in this case. Uh, by specifying wheel, I'll be able to upgrade my user test to uh, I'll be able to give it full root privileges temporarily and that comes in very handy in case uh, of situations where I need to run commands uh, which require root privileges so just give wheel and hit enter and if you want to include username test to any other group of uh, to any other group then just type the name of the group and press enter here I'll be giving it default Login class will be default. Login classes are classes which define uh, restrictions on the user. They impose restrictions such as the memory, how much memory can the user consume, the disk space, the CPU, etc. Just hit enter. I'll be using TCSH, that is the, the enhanced version of this CSH, Unix shell. If you want to change, uh, if you want to give a, a different home directory than this, then type in the home directory and hit enter. I'll be giving the default value. Password yes, no. This is the password for your username test. If this seems okay to you, then hit, uh, then type yes and hit enter. Otherwise, you can always go back and uh, reconfigure everything. No. So we are done with adding user, root password, host name, etc. Uh, so just go up and exit. So we are done with the installation of FreeBSD. Um, I'll show you how to reboot and uh, shut down again so just hit enter now here you will need to press F12 as soon as the virtual disk uh, virtual machines starts up because what happens is VirtualBox is not smart enough to identify whether uh, the operating system has been successfully installed or not 
so it will keep on booting from the uh, from the ISO image so here you will need to specify the hard disk you need to boot from so this is a primary master so just hit one press enter to boot I'll show you a workaround for um, so that you don't have to press F12 and give the manually specify the boot device every time you boot up FreeBSD. Now here login will be uh, you can either type root or you can type any of the users you created earlier. Uh, for this uh, for the tutorial, I'll type root and then give the password as tour, which is what I had provided. So we have FreeBSD up and running. For shutting down, there is a utility called shutdown. Oops. Here you can um, either provide the minus H switch for shutting down or the minus P switch for the immediate halting of the system. I'll provide the minus P switch because then you don't have to close the virtual boxes uh, window manually. I'll, you can give the time as now or uh, now means obviously immediate. That is, means immediate shutdown and uh, you can also specify the number of minutes by giving the plus um, parameter and then the number of uh, minutes. If I give one, then this means shutdown everything after plus one uh, after one minute. But for now, I'll be giving now. This shuts down and you don't have to, you know, manually close the window which you need to do when you are hitting um, minus H. So we are done and I'll just show you how to detach the free BST ISO image from the virtual machine so that you don't have to manually specify the boot, uh, the boot device at boot up. So go to settings, first choose the free BST virtual machine and then click settings. Now click uh, storage go to the place where it shows the full location of the ISO file and right click it and select remove attachment okay so now that we have detached our ISO image file from the virtual hard disk let us check whether our virtual hard disk boots up fine without the ISO file or not so let us proceed Once again, select FreeBSD and click Start. Press 1 to boot from the hard disk. Everything seems to be working fine. Uh, login as root or uh, as test user. I will log in as test user for now. And yes, everything is working as expected. So we'll shut it down. Oh, permission denied. Shut down minus B now. So our test has completed successfully. So with this we come to the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the whole video. Thanks for watching.